this is my favourite book, uh, David and Stemmel Goy Gamel's Troy. This is the third book in the series called Fall of Kings. It's my favourite series because it's probably the first book that I actually chose to read myself. and I wasn't told what to read and I chose something that interested me, which is historical fiction. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. The two champions each picked up a blade, then walked across the bridge, steam from the cold rising around them. The bridge was withdrawn. Odysseus looked up at the western wall. It was packed with silent watchers. There were thousands of spectators at this death match, but they were so quiet, all he could hear was the two men's footsteps as they walked to the centre of the arena. They touched sword in salute. Then they circled. Achilles attacked first with lightning speed, and Hector blocked and parried, sending back a blistering ripposé that made Achilles step back. They circled again, watching each other's eyes. Will you wager with me, Odysseus? asked his kinsman Nestor, king of Pylos, who was standing beside him. Our great Achilles against your friend Hector. I am proud to call Hector my friend, but I will not wager on him, replied Odysseus. Even the gods will not gamble on this battle. Hector hacked and thrust. Achilles parried and countered. Suddenly, Achilles launched a ferocious attack, his blade moving like quicksilver. Hector blocked, then spun on his heel and hit Achilles in the face with the back of his fist. Achilles stumbled, righted himself and swiftly brought up his blade to parry a thrust to the neck. His ripposé was so fast Hector threw himself to the ground, rolled and was up again in an instant. They circled again. Odysseus watched spellbound as the duel continued. Both fighters were endowed with natural balance and speed. Both had honed their skills in a thousand battles. Achilles was the younger man, yet he had spent all his short life seeking fights. Hector battled and killed only when he had to. Both men fought coolly, now, and with patience. Each knew the slightest misjudgment could end his life. Each probed for weaknesses in the other. Each tried to read the other's moves. The pace quickened, and the swords clashed together in a whirl of glittering bronze, attacking with controlled fury. Achilles forced Hector back towards the fiery trench. They had to move carefully there, for the edge of the trench were crumbling in the heat. Hector foot slipped. The crowd on the wall gasped. Achilles lunged. Hector parried, regained his footing and sent a flashing ripposé which slid off Achilles' breastplate. Both men stepped back, as if by consent, towards the centre of the circle. Odysseus knew most duels began with heat and fury, then settled down to a game of endurance and concentration. No two duelists were exactly matched, all knew this, and there would always come a point when the seed of doubt entered the mind of one fighter. Is he better than me? In this duel, both men wanted to win, but was the difference between them that Achilles feared to lose? Hector had no such fear. Indeed, Odysseus wondered if it was Hector's weakness that his core he did not care if he lived or died. Achilles attacked again. Hector ducked beneath a murderous cut, his own blade flashing out and slicing Achilles' cheek. Achilles stepped back a pace, wiping blood from his face, and Hector allowed himself a heartbeat's pause. I hope you enjoyed that.